Today, the late TU defensive lineman Dennis Bird will be remembered in a memorial service here in Tulsa. Two Works for You reporter Jitzel Puente talked with some of Bird's longtime friends about his legacy. She's live from the Church on the Move with details. Jitzel. Good morning, Daniel and Tanaya. Today, thousands of people are expected to attend Church on the Move for this memorial service to honor Dennis Bird's life and his legacy. That memorial service starts at 1 o'clock today. Now, yesterday, I got the chance to meet two of his longtime friends and former NFL players, Paul Frace and Scott Merceru. They're here in Tulsa to attend the memorial service. They played next to Bird with the New York Jets in the late, late 1980s when he was first drafted. Bird's friends describe him as a good friend, a great teammate, and also as a prankster of the team. Frace remembers one particular moment when Bird played a joke on him on his wedding day. I hurriedly was getting dressed and putting on my tuxedo and when I put on my shoes, shaving cream squirted all over the place. And I looked over at Dennis Bird and Dennis was chuckling. Uh, he, had, he was the culprit, of course. Bird died 11 days ago in a car crash north of Claremore. He was driving an SUV with his son on Route 88 when a driver hit them head on. Bird passed away at the scene. He was 50 years old. Now he leaves behind a wife and four of his children and his friends say that they will always remember him in a positive light. Coming up at 530, we're going to hear from Merceru on the day that he collided with him on the field in 1992, which left uh, Bird paralyzed for a few months. Reporting in Tulsa, Jitzel Puente, Tours for you.